Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 beginner tutorial video. This is the second part of the plastic bottle video and in the first part I showed you how to use the revolve tool um, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the coil tool to create the thread on the top of the bottle. So let's get started. So with our um, plastic bottle model already open that we've created previously, uh, what we're going to do first is create a new plane and if you don't know how to do that just go up to this construct tab here and we're going to go to offset plane and if we select the top of our bottle there I'm going to, we're going to offset it minus four millimeters so just type minus four in there and click ok next we'll go over to the create tab and if we go down to coil and we'll select the plane that we want to create the coil from. So we'll select the plane we've just created. Go to the top view in our view cube. And if we select the center there and type 28 millimeters in there. And once you've clicked OK, that should bring up this dialog box here. And there's a few, uh, a few more different parameters and options in this. So we'll, we'll just talk you through them all now. So first we've got type, um, so first there's revolution in height, so basically that sets your coil by setting the number of re revolutions there, so three, and the overall height of the coil, which is the height from the top to the bottom, and then that determines the, uh, the tightness and the pitch of the coil that you're creating. Next there's revolution in pitch, which again, set another number of revolutions, uh, and then you change the pitch, so the pitch is the width between each coil, or sorry, each revolution. So, obviously if you increase the uh, pitch, the overall height of the coil becomes longer. Uh, next, if you, you can go to height and pitch, so you can set the overall height, say at whatever it is now, 72 millimeters, and if you change the pitch, so make the pitch bigger, it puts less revolutions in. If you make the uh, pitch smaller, it obviously it gives it a tighter coil with more revolutions in. And the last one is just spiral, which is basically just a flat spiral. There's no height to it. Um, and you can just pretty much change this, the height and the um, number of coils in there, which is pretty straightforward um, if that's what you're looking to do. But for us, we're going to go for revolution and height. Uh, so the diameter um, is what we set before to 28 millimeters, and we changed that briefly before. So we'll just change that back to 28 millimeters. There we go, 28. Number of revolutions, we're going to put three in there, and the height. We'll put that to minus 15 because we want the the pitch to sorry the the coil to go down, and not up. Um, one thing I not mentioned is the angle. Uh, so if I just put the section size to two, there you'll see what I'm on about. Um, the angle you can pretty much add a taper to the coil. So if I put five degrees in there. I'll just drag it up here so you can see a little bit easier. Yeah, so, so if you put a, a value in there, put a bit bigger one in there, let's put 10 in, you can see how it puts a, a taper on the coil, um, which we're not going to use it on this one today, but if you were going to use it on, say, a tapered conical object, or if you were to uh, put a coil between two different diameter um, cylinders, then you could use it like that. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can do that, but we're just going to keep that at zero for this one. Next, if we click uh, here, we can change the section of the coil. So you can make it a circular one, or you can change it to a square if you want. You've also got the option for uh, an external or internal triangle. Uh, but for this one, we're just going to keep it as a circular one. We'll put that back to minus 15. Make it 
minus 10 actually. Minus 10. There we go. That looks a bit better. Um, also, you can set the position of the section. So you can make it inside the center of the coil, on the center or outside, but we're just going to keep it on the center. Uh, for this, for the section size, that's basically the thickness of the coil. So we increase that. Obviously, it fails, but we can decrease it to one. We're going to keep it at two for this. And then lastly, there's the operation. So you can make it join a solid, um, cut away from a solid, intersect, or create a new body or new component. And uh, we're going to create a new body. Um, and the reason for that is that basically in uh, Fusion 360, you can't specify where you want the coil to start. Um, or I've not found a way to do it anyway, so uh, a, a way to get around this is to create it as a new solid and then rotate it around later on and combine it to your uh, existing one. So we'll click OK to create that. Next, if we go to the move command, uh, you can specify what you want to move, whether it be components, bodies, faces or sketch objects. but we're going to select bodies for ours. We'll select the coil and we're going to put it on this rotate move type here. And if we select the Z axis and type minus 90 degrees in there and click OK, that moves it to the front of the bottle. And then all we have to do is click the combine button. Uh, target body will be the coil and the tool body will be the um, bottle, but it doesn't really matter too much for this because it's only joining them together. Um, just make sure the operation is joined. You can also uh, use it as a cut or intersect. So I'll just show you what cut would look like. So basically because the original body is the tool body, so the, the bottle is the tool body, you can see it's cut away from the coil there and made that uh, flat on the inside. Uh, and you could do the same on the intersect, so that's basically kept where the coil and the bottle intersect on the inside there. But we'll keep that at join. Let's click OK. And that's joined those two together as a solid. And just to finish it off, we'll just fill it, these edges here. Put a 0.8 fillet on there. And click OK. And there we are, that's the coil added to your... A plastic bottle to create the uh, the thread at the top. And there we go, that's finished. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!